Well, probably the biggest thing is this is our biggest local race. I mean, obviously, Vancouver Sunrun is one of the biggest 10Ks in the world. Uh, but as far as the wheelchair division, you know, uh, this is the start of the year for us in the wheelchair division. It's a big event. It gets the, the, the local group, you know, kind of hyped up about the season coming. You won't get a, a more raucous crowd cheering you on than this as far as the wheelchair racing division goes locally. Well, it's, it's a big local event, like it's close to home, and uh, it's got some pretty steep hills in it. There's a, there's a couple really decent climbs that really make you push. There's other uh, races in the world that are pretty significant with hills, like the Boston Marathon. It's a big hill one, but... Uh, That'll be something maybe I'll do uh, next year, the year after. That'll be a tough challenge. But uh, for 10Ks, uh, the Vancouver Sun runs uh, a pretty hilly course, so that's it makes it makes it push on. Look at this. We are about 150 meters away from seeing the victory here at the finish line. And uh, congratulations, it's Kelly Weed who's made the move in the yellow. A brilliant performance for this 22-year-old. He is out of the days of Saskatchewan. The man is down to 29, 25. He's set the personal best there as well. Uh, this is my first uh, real road race I've been in. I've competed for Canada in the World Cross Country Championships. So I've, I've run at this level before, but this is really my, my first really big breakthrough race, you know, just coming out on top. It's huge, running against the best in Canada and also uh, some of the best in the world, so I'm, I'm really happy, pleased about this. Well, the seminar is a... Uh, <laughs> it's more like uh, the umbrella of all the, uh, uh, kind of the, like track and field, like uh, supporting like RJ Rom Track Classic and all that. So it makes it special, you know. And at the same time, uh, myself, if I was going to win this race, my company Flaman, Flaman Health was going to donate one thousand dollars to the race readers. But because that did not happen, because I became second, <laughs> if I won it, it was going to be good because my my company was going to donate one thousand. And uh, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be here. And you know, Flam and Sales has supported me this year. With, with no shoe company, Flam and Sales came and supported me. So it's good.